pastors around here, you can stand. Our pastors will visit us, all of them. Let them stand. God bless you. Please, these pastors can come, all of them with their wives, our pastors. Oh my God. Clap hands for our pastors, please. These pastors, I will tell you about these pastors. These pastors are a sign to us that there is something here. What do you think? Huh? These, are, these pastors are a sign to tell us because pastors are not people who just go anywhere. They pray. They ask God. Pastors, they scrutinize. Even when you say you're a man of God, they check you. They try to find out. These people are not foolish. They are servants of God. And for them, and God wants to raise this pastor, blessing them, so that people who are coming here, you people who are coming here, you know, you'll be surprised. Among them here, there's too much testimonies here. Among them. Too many testimonies to tell us these pastors are not just coming. One of the problems that we don't believe is you're not even a pastor. You can't hear from God. When you sleep, you dream people feeding you or chasing you with castle earth. Isn't it? But these people, these ones, they are dreaming, praying for people. Praying for people. They are dreaming, showing things, these people. And people like this, if they come here, you people must be very serious. My name is uh, Emmanuel Ononiwu. I humbly want to say thank you, Papa, for giving us the opportunity to speak out what the Lord uh, has done in our life and what He's doing in this ministry. Papa, there is something you just mentioned now. It has to do with giving. I really don't want to overemphasize about it, but I just want to pinpoint something that is very unique. Uh, the very first day I came here, I came by revelation, and you prayed for me, you ministered to me, and while I was leaving, something told me to sow a seed in this place. So when I got home, I was asking the Holy Spirit, what is it that I should bring to present to my father? And the Lord said to me, go and buy something unique. And actually, I went and I bought two chairs. And not only that, there is something again I bought, and I brought it to this place. Number two, I had a US dollar in my pocket. Somebody sold that as a seed to me. I came to this altar. I said, God, I am sowing this hard currency in this altar, and I want my life to begin to attract international currency. Papa, I want to say, since I did that, I have been receiving money from euro and dollars. Not only that, I'm telling you that my ministry is growing, and the Lord has been blessing me so well. What is this for this man? who say, after he lived here, after he prayed for, he had something telling him, so you see it. Did I tell him? Something. And he did that, now he say he bought chair. Where are the chairs? Papa, I brought it, it's, it's in your office, I bought it for you. That was last month. Last I, month? Yes, sir. The first day I came here, the next day I bought the chair, I brought it here. It's here in your, in your office. Uh, not only that, Papa, uh, yesterday, the Lord also blessed me with about 20 something thousand rents. Uh, my life has, is full of blessing. But, but not only that, even uh, now, I'm having a, con a, a connection to one minister in Paris. By the uh, March, on the 13th of March, I have 16 days to spend in France. So that is my first movement. Uh, How long you are coming here? For, Papa, it's just last month. My God. God is still going to do more for you. I receive, sir. I receive, Papa. Uh, I receive. Papa, I'm not joking. The invitation letter is on ground now. I have the format on my phone already. Not only in Paris, I'm also booked for three days in Brazil, Belgium. No, oh, it's too much. Within a one, it's really too much. Yes, Papa. Papa, in fact, our ministry have taken a, a greater dimension. Honestly, it's like my ministry was locked up. And after you minister to me, 
things are changing people are coming the the the, the music section the musical section is growing people are coming from all corners I mean, papa I, I don't know how to explain this but i say may the lord bless you and increase your anointing what is the meaning of this to us hey good morning church uh, i'm tabi so i'm from swaziland uh, the first time I saw Teddy, I was watching him on TV, and then he came for a crusade in Swaziland, and I decided to go there, led by the Spirit of God, and uh, he prayed for me. It was the first time to see a man saturated in the Spirit as he was, because he prayed for me. I got so drunk, I couldn't wake up the second day of the, of the conference. It took me like an hour to wake up because my bed was spinning like this. And then from there, I started following him. I came to, to as a visitor. And as of now, I'm a spiritual son, and I wanted to learn from him. One testimony, two testimonies actually I want to share is that I was also involved. In fact, my mom is involved in a business. So we are, applica we are applying for this particular place in the business to, for them to give us. Many people are applying for this tender, and no one was able to make it through. There was a blockage. And then I came, I also came with a seed, like my previous pastor. I believed God with the anointing that is in my father. And then I submitted, I just wrote an email, I said, I still want that place. They said, oh, you still want it? Come, let's negotiate quickly. We, we, it, was like, it was like a dream come true. I was so shocked that with just one prayer, that, that door could open because the way that tender was so blocked, no one was able to make it through. And I just wrote an email, it was just as simple as APC, and I got that place, and now my mom is running the business there. Greet all of you in the name of Jesus. I have only one testimony, and that amazed me. You are Pastor who from where? I'm from, I'm Pastor J.I. Shirenzi. I'm from Amman's Crown. Thank you. My wife, she came here once in Wednesday to attend the pastor's service. And then Papa looked at her and prayed to her and asked her about me, where I am. I was busy with my business, not following the callings. But on that day record, when I saw the clip on the TV, he was telling her that your husband must come to the house of the Lord. He must stop what he's doing all over around. Last of last month, after she told me everything, I just realized I must get the land. Where there is no land, all over the place is taken. But God give me a grace and give me a land where already now we are prepared to start our ministry there. And everything is done in a short minutes. ESCOM just come straight to our land and put the, ESCOM, the light, the meter box and everything. The instruments is already full in the house. My business does stop. The way the business that I was running after it just collapsed, and now which means I have to go and face the ministry of God. After Papa prophesied to my wife, said, whatever he's doing, he will stop, not by you. God will show him the right way. And I'd like to thank God. We are going to start our ministry now. Thank you. God bless you. Yeah, in other words, you didn't want to do ministry. You wanted yes. to do business. I was running business every day, and I wanted to do the chicken and the land, but everything ran down. And uh, now, after prophecy, the business went down to zero. It's zero now. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Greetings in Jesus' name. Uh, I'm here just to confirm uh, what they did say to us when we you're, first you're came Pastor here. Pastor who from where? Okay, my name is Pastor Masale from Pretoria. Uh, from Lotus Gardens in Atrechfield, to be specific. So they, they said to me when I first came with my brother, I'm seeing a calling on you, but I, I, what I can say now is you cannot see it because there's a, a lot of confusion on you. So I kept on coming here, and they said to me, God has deposited a gift of healing in your life, and you are going to be a threat in the kingdom of darkness. So I didn't, but by then I wasn't believing. But when we established a ministry, Basalwane, now we have seen people who were booked for uh, organs to be removed in theaters, receiving new organs, people with cancer, cancer drying up, HIV AIDS being healed. And what we have achieved in our ministry in the space of, I think, 
two years, six months, it's like we've been in ministry for 10 years. So I just want to thank the grace upon my father. And another thing, I, say, I stayed in South Africa for so long, failing to send money back home to my mother, I think for more than eight years or nine years. They didn't even know where I was. But when I started giving in Charis Missionary Church, giving faithfully so, today they were saying I was the black sheep of their family, but now every month I'm able to support them. So I thank God with the grace which is upon my father. Amen. Amen. This is my husband. We were here last year on the 12th of December, so they recall people who want to come and offer with 2,000 above. Then I was having that amount in my no, you, wallet. No, you came here, you were giving a testimony. When was that? It was, it was on the 12th of December last year. It was 12th with your children? With yes, with, them. with my children. Okay, then thank you, yes. I um, give that offering of 2,000 rand because I was having it in my wallet. Then we go back to, we are coming from Free State. Then we go back to at, at, at Free State. So the church is starting to grow again this year. And then last week on the 10th of January, last week this year, we have managed to go to the bank and we are now driving a new car, Toyota CHR. Uh, white in color. The car is packed the outside because of that. Because of that offering, because deep down in my... You gave 2000, when was that? It was on the 12th of December. 12th, when you came here that time? Yes. And then you got a car, when was that? Last week. Last week, go and take yes. it. Go and take it. Go. <laughs> I want to see the car. So these are, these are pastors giving us testimonies. Today we call only pastors to give us testimonies. And we thank these nice cars. I went with her in Israel. I went with her in Israel. Remember she came here and gave a testimony with her husband and children. Look now the car they are driving now. The ministry grew. Look at the car now. I thought it's Toyota Yaris. I'm tired of Yaris. <laughs> I'm tired of Yaris because even if you get accident, you won't come out. Is it not true? So I'm tired of Yaris. This is beautiful. Eh? Is it not true? Mama, can you bless their cars, please? Mama, bless their cars. Take my bless the pastor's cars. Are you, so what do you say about your cars? Let's hear. Because many cars are coming here. Let's hear. You people, you're about to come with cars here. There's a lot that is coming to you very soon. Hey, Daddy, we just want to say, we thank God about the grace of Charis. Because if it was not the grace of God upon our life, we could have never received this car like this one. So we really thank God about the grace that is in the house. And we believe God, more are still coming. Like Daddy have said that more are still coming. It was not easy for us because we have been struggling for more than five years with an old car and sometimes it was giving us a problem. But after we come to this place and believe God, when we offer in this house, something great will happen indeed. We have seen the grace of God upon our life. So we thank the, the God about the grace that is in this, in this place. God bless you. Amen. The reason why today I want pastors to give us testimonies is because of us, the ministry, and the followers in the church. This is a year of jubilee. Amen. A year of jubilee, you people must see things that you have never seen. Amen. You must listen. People are about to say you have pride. People are about to say what? They are about to say you have pride. Because they will see ah, your ministry is like this. God will send someone to buy you a Range Rover. And you are not even owing it. Somebody will just say, go touch me. You see these brothers are talking here. Say, I've been touched by God to come and do this. This thing is about to happen. Somebody come and say, I heard I must buy you Rolls Royce. You, you begin to question, you, where? 
how can you, where are you going to drive it? Somebody just come and say, God say, it starts from a desire. You people are going to church, you must have a desire to support your pastor. That desire, God wants to use it so that after you are blessed, you don't leave your pastor. I'm sure you understand that. From there, because God wants to raise that pastor and make, you can hear my brother going to Paris. It must not be one person to go there, another one to go there. No, it must be all of us here.